Oh, it's right. We our, our company is 90 years old now. Uh, we our first shops in China, Guangzhou, uh, uh, back to 1929. So we um, then we open shops in Macau, then to Hong Kong. So everyone think I'm um, is from Hong Kong. And um, in the last like light years, we introduced some standards in the market. In 1956, we introduced a gold standard called 999.9 gold. So at that time, lots of uh, uh, fun gold products in the market. So nobody can dis distinguish what is real gold. So we introduced this standard. And in 1990, in the market also, lots of jewelry shops, they mark up a lot and quick discount. So sort of introduced called fixed price policy, no discount in our shops. So no need to ask me any discount afterwards. Um, and so once the industry have come up with some problems, we try to stand up and try to find some solution to tackle it. So uh, right now we got around 3,000 shops around the world, jewelry shops, 3,000 jewelry shops. Um, in Hong Kong, if you if you use a Google to search the Jada Hood shops in TSD, Kim Tsa Chai, we have more shops than seven here. So we have more common than convenience shops. And every year we, we sell about 16 million jewelries uh, around the 3,000 shops. Um, in the Deloitte Luxury Power Ranking, we rank top 10 in the world. 11th and 12th are Hermes and Rolex. So we are a little bit bigger than Rolex and, and Hermes. So how we handle processing all those 160 million uh, jewelries distributed to the 3,000 shops? Uh, I think you have lots of IoT devices. Uh, next time you come to the shops in Hong Kong, uh, not just look at the jewelry. Uh, all the price tag in Hong Kong right now is uh, is already RFID enabled. So we uh, we also have uh, a device called Smart Tray. Uh, is we measure the activity, how long you look at the jewelry, what's being built, and all those data we lock in our uh, backend. We got more than 110 billion records. So I don't know what it's fake, but my team's uh, another role is trying to leverage those data to optimize the inventory across the three other shops. So we are not just jewelry, we are a little bit high tech, but it's a local one. Next time you go to our shops, look at it. Um, so uh, I think you heard about A, B, C, D, so, but D in China is time. Um, uh, I think today is blockchain, so, but is way to die. Um, so you may heard also story about the diamond issues. I don't know where you watch a movie called Blood Diamonds. Um, I want to do say another buddies. Tracer GM is the another blockchain platform in the industry. It's Jim. He, we are we are working on something to hand, tackle that problem. And synthetics, lab grown and fake diamonds. There's a lots of lot natural diamonds in the market. So we see the problems, and this guy did their subsidiaries, they introduced a, a called light box diamond, to just one carat, how much? Just 800 US dollars, you can buy one night. One carat, synthetic sun, 800 US dollars. So you can buy it now, in the, uh, online, for, from their website. So it's very cheap, compared to the natural one, around the price of one, one tenth of the natural one. Selling synthetics is, is legal, it's not an illegal process. But you need to tell the customers what you buy. So the industry, industry trying to differentiate natural one and the synthetic one. So, and China Book is not just retail. We are the site, uh, site holders of uh, buying rough diamonds of, of the of the world. So we we have our own factory to polish, cut the diamonds. Every year we handle seven to 70,000 carat of diamonds in our factory. It, just within the diamond factory, we got 15,000, 1,500 staff over there. So uh, we, we, we scan the diamond. When, when we bought the rough diamond from the, from the mines, we will put the diamond in the, this kind of what called get a C machine. It's like a CT scan of the rough. We know all the particles inside the diamond so that we know how to cut it. Because we, we try to get rid of some dirty area or uh, try to maximize the, 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 the diamond values within the buff. So we, we have a full, 
full DNA of the diamond before they sell to the customer. So, and then we mount the uh, diamonds on the ring. So, I think blockchain is just the underneath. You need more techniques or some more data so that you can track the natural one. So we have all this being in place in our environment. So uh, another technology that we invented is a uh, marking techniques. So every piece of natural diamonds, we have a patent on um, putting a very tiny numbers on top of diamond. So we call it T-mark. We, we sell this type of diamond a few years ago. So T-mark is a, is a, a, a five nanometers high. Uh, we have a microscope in our shop. So when we sell the diamonds to customers, we will use the microscope to sew the numbers on top of the diamond. So that when we, what we sell and what, what the customer bought, you can match the same thing. Okay, this is another technology that is essential for us to build a blockchain solution. Um, we mark all this in our in Science Park in Hong Kong. So we have a lab, we have a patent. So it's a crucial one to check the diamonds based on this number. And what we did, uh, one, one more thing. Uh, I, I'm proud of uh, Java Talk. We are the quite, we are quite confident we are better than any companies to, to, to work on blockchain projects because we, reason, we, we sell gold, we handle currency, ideas. <laughs> so, so I mean, I don't know other companies whether you handle currency before. I think banks they do, but uh, I don't think they have production plans on making trades. So we sell uh, diamond chain, silver chain. Uh, we when we talk to the management, we tell them, okay, blockchain just like type of another chain you can sell your shop. <laughs> so we got thirty thousand staff already trained how to sell the chain. So, so we got very already. Uh, have uh, uh, our capability to do blockchain solutions. So what we did last year in September, we built a shared ledger with the grading app called GIA. So um, we lock all the false information in the shared share ledger now. So we are not PLC, okay? We are production grade. Um, the process is like when we uh, polish diamond, we have back of. Polish, di uh, Polish diamond, we send the whole bag of diamonds to GIA grading lab. And all the diamonds we already have team up in each diamond. So once they GIA receive the, the bag of uh, team up diamonds, they grade the diamonds, they will check the lecture again. So before I send them, I, I, um, they will go for a very uh, uh, serious process on make sure every diamond is lecture. But GI, when they receive the diamond, they will check it again and then they will seal another GI number on the kernels of the diamond. Then they will lock the four C's information to get a TMAR number and GI number into the chain. And when we sell the diamond to the customers, we will have uh, ABP applications in the app that display the digital, the, the blockchain chart. So very easy convenience. And after we lock the, the, the the process information in the in the chain. Uh, GIA team, Jota team, customer will only retrieve the four C information from the same source. No other database, nothing else in the world. Because we want to try to avoid the, the discrepancy. Uh, think about um, we sell 60 million uh, pieces of jewelry every year. I in our uh, in our paper cert factory, we have three robotic arms to handle the cert. So when the papers come to our, our, our supply chain process, we need to stop in and then distribute to 3,000 shops. In which shops, they need to be balancing sometimes. So think about leg lights. We've got 10 shirts, maybe, or 15 shirts. So we need to make sure the cert together with the jury and routing among the supply chain. So why now? or digital, no more checking. So it's a lot of, lots of cost saving to our whole industry uh, for GI and ourselves. And also people make mistakes, not just us, GI as well. So with this kind of single source of crude tool, we, we, we use lots of uh, logistic costs. Is that, is that clear? And not just that, 
Giants is a stock. So I'm trying to promote something. Every time the presentation, I'm selling something. Uh, um, we also heard from the market, from the consumer customer that uh, if I want to bring along a jewelry to travel outside, you normally you buy travel insurance, right? But the, if you look at terms, the variables for those hydrate, the cap is very little, just three thousand. So, and either you buy a very large surgery, you cannot insure by anyone. And maybe the when the, and the amount may be the value too. So, um, after this GI project, I I'm building with we always sign agreements with Peng An in China and Exa in, in the world. We were operating a jewelry insurance in Q2 or Q3, we are developing now. So next time you buy jewelry in our shops, we will bundle this free first year. So you just, you just activate. And you, your jewelry will be, you will be covered first year free for the jewelry insurance. So quite unique in the market. So underneath all blockchain. And so Q2. So once you buy the diamonds, you look at the shirt. And you can activate the diamond, activate ins insurance in our ABB. And because we have to make sure what the insurance insured is electro diamonds. So right on the blockchain of the GIA. So we have more integration right now, but I cannot tell too much. What I can tell you is that we, you can, next time you buy jewelry in our shops, it's already under with the free insurance. So hopefully Q2, uh, a lot, lot, lot later than Q3 in, in Hong Kong. So. Um, I think I can share a little bit more other blockchain projects they are working on, but some other topics I still cannot be solved. I need your help. Um, so Tracer, yeah, this guy. So we are working on the supply chain from the source origin, the uh, polish process, and to the polish one. So we have we are working with DBS on see we're testing it, see how we make sure before we sell to the customers how the supply chain being tracked in the in the blockchain and. I have another project on handling the owner's funds with other third parties. So we will launch questions. And is it good for retailers? So because when we when our customer buy something, they earn some points. But how we easily exchange the other mileage or something else. So we, we have projects like that. Some something that I still not um, confident and still need some more solution. Like how I can manage the transfer ownership of this time into another one. Is a properly legally handled. Right now, we need more law advisory or or some hardware equipment. Like you make a bill, it's not a not a, not a, not a smartphone. It's a, it's a, the, the jewelry is quite expensive. You make a bill, you make a bill with uh, in front of some lawyer, so that you can make sure when you die, the pass away, the, your jewelry will pass to someone else. But how I can make it easy using the new tech? Those are the things that we are looking at, but still not have a very good solution. Uh, like collateral. So if you think about, you buy a flat uh, uh, property, uh, you buy uh, uh, insurance for that property, right? You put the contract of the uh, the properties and uh, uh, the, the, the own the, some agreement of the, of the properties sent back to the bank. So right now I got the digital circulations of the diamonds, I got insurance, and I become a wearable collateral. So there are topics that I need more advice or discussion. So feel free to let me know if you have any solution. This topic I I still research it. I need your help. So new products, new service, good for the customers. So I I I'm, uh, my teams every time we, we have a speech, we want to see your comments. Could be give us shops later on. So most important in last page, there are ten shops available for the blockchain certifications in the, in Hong Kong. So next time when you talk about blockchain, show them the digital side. Okay, thank you. Any questions? <laughs> so, so just take a photo of this. So so enjoy the lunch? Thank you everybody for the lunch. Um, thank you so much, Jake. Um, can we um,